So, after some time away, because I have been sparing the money to buy some tools, um, I'm now back with the restoration of this, uh, this gearbox. Uh, now I will show you how to improvise uh, part of a, a bearing puller. Uh, it's one of the tools you'll need to remove bearings from the from those shafts. And uh, the the, th the thing is that when you buy a bearing puller, uh, it's something like this. This is the base. It opens and closes depending on the size of the bearing you'll be pulling. Since our bearings are very small, uh, the kind of uh, bearing puller you'll need is um, it's for until it's the, the maximum is uh, 75 uh, millimeters. And I bought uh, there is another one that goes until uh, 60 millimeters, but uh, I bought the one for 75 because um, uh, one day if I have to remove a, a wheel bearing, for example, I can use the same bearing puller. The, the maximum size of the bearings in this case, of this uh, gearbox, uh, excuse me is, uh, let me see, I think it's around 60 or 65, yeah, so the maximum is 65 for this, uh, for the, bear the bearings of this gearbox, uh, so I had to buy a um, uh, bearing puller base that goes into the maximum of uh, 70 and the advantage is that it can be used later for larger bearings uh, without having to buy everything new so this is the base and uh, this works by placing this at the base of the bearing and then put it, putting a strut on the on the top as I will show you when it come, when when the this assembly so this is the base and now the top of the bearing puller is something like this. This goes into the goes into the base as such. And uh, then this bolt, this middle bolt here, is goes up and down like so. It it is fixed until to the fixed to the shaft in the gearbox like this and then we screw this in to pull the bearing towards this direction with that, that piece placed there in the bottom 